England, Australia, Lords, day two, Ask George. Question from Sam. Why are England refusing to leave the short ball alone, considering it's the only way Australia were able to threaten them today? You're all right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> too uh, much coffee. Okay. Um, well, have you seen England play? I mean, that's what they do. And to be fair, the short ball thing, unless you're going to take it on, it'd be quite hard to score. Um, these guys, they're always going to bat themselves, aren't they? So I thought it was a really interesting day. It was a day which you could absolutely use an example of everything that's wrong with this England approach and a day which you could use an example of everything that's right about it. And they finished the day in a pretty good position and it was a real tricky day, so uh, an interesting topic. I don't like seeing Joe Root do unnatural things, I think. To duck it. It's unnatural. Uh, well, he, he doesn't play like that normally, does he? Well, doesn't he? He has been under basketball, pulls, but I don't like it when he does. He's got every shot. Yeah. Well, you get out for 10 and then he was dropped, you know, he's well, caught. I really got 100 and something last test. Yeah, okay, he's got runs in the paint. Yeah. M question from, from Mike. Can anyone explain what on earth England are doing? Australia's tactic is, quote, let's just wait for England to do something stupid, unquote. And my word, they are doing it. I'll say again, though, they, they're right in the game, aren't they? I mean, they've lost, batted almost the entire day and scored, only lost four wickets. Decent chance getting up to parity. I mean, it, it wasn't like it didn't work, it's just there were some wickets that looked unnecessary. But if you're going to try and score in the way they do, I think these things are going to happen. Having said that, I thought it was a real relief when Ben Stokes came in and played like the adult in the room. You say they're in the game, but they might be the better side, and actually they're not making the most of the fact that they are the better side. Look, I, I feared this time yesterday that by this time today they'd be in real trouble in this series. And the fact is they took seven for 100 and have given themselves a decent chance of parity or even better. So I, I, I thought England had a good take day. Take the positives, OK. Well, it's not um, just taking the positives, I thought England had a good day. They did have a very good day. And they had a poor day yesterday. Yes. OK, Josh Caswell says, will England be the first team to all, all be out-stumped? Be well, all out-stumped? All be out-stumped. I, I, know, I know what you mean, uh, but not today. <laughs> but, you know, this, again, it is a legitimate way of getting wickets. And, uh, I mean, was that Crawley? He scored more than 40. I mean, he did his job, didn't he? Tom Vickers says, could Crawley ever get a better opportunity to repay the faith captain and coach have shown him? Well, he's, yes. I mean, there was that test on, I mean, I mean Pakistan tour, he played on some pretty flat wickets and he's played on some pretty flat wickets this summer. And um, largely, they would argue that he has repaid his faith, don't you think? And, it, uh, it, you know, you have to remember the job he's been asked to do, which is a set the tone opening batter. Everything's different to how it used to be, yeah? Ben Duckett doesn't leave the ball. I remember Mark Butcher saying he tried to play as few balls as possible in, his, in the first hour, I think, of his innings. Well, Ben Duckett plays everything. So the game's changed, and um, uh, I think Crawley would think that he had had a pretty good day today. OK, Simon Stokes says, did England get a talking to overnight? They are a different team today. I reckon that question came in early. Uh, yeah, it did look a bit as it like that. They, uh, they, um, they ran in harder, they hit the pitch harder. I thought they bowled better. Yeah, um, and yesterday they were sloppy. But I don't think it's just about effort, is it? I mean, a lot of things go into a performance. And I think maybe the balance between pressure off and not training enough uh, may have they may have got that slightly wrong in the last few weeks. You know, I get that they don't want to overtrain. I get that they don't want to be too tense. But when you're overstepping a lot and when you're missing quite a lot of chances in the field, that suggests that there's something wrong in practice, I think. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. Um, they, you know, playing golf at St Andrews didn't sort out the no ball problem, did it? No. Um, <laughs> JDK 1970 asks, will ego be the death of Baz Ball? Yeah. The, uh, yeah, yep, okay. Might go back to somebody more traditional like Alex Stewart's coach maybe one day. We'll see. Andrew Leggett says, is Basball an excuse to play brain dead cricket but have no responsibility or accountability? Similar themes here. Uh, it, it is, but it isn't just that, is it? Uh, you know, we, we would all have to, I, I have reservations about it. I think it's simplistic and unsophisticated, but you'd have to acknowledge that it's had some success as well. And the England have played some of the most unlikely, joyous, successful cricket in the last year. 
So it's about taking pressure off, but if people don't completely understand it, or, or maybe the message is this simple, uh, they can use it exactly the way that you describe. But I think what's interesting is both here and at Edgbaston, Ben Stokes came in and he blocked it, really, didn't he? Uh, and that suggests to me that the message he's giving and what he actually means, they're not quite the same thing. He's a bit more sophisticated, a bit more cricket smart. Look, if he'd come in this evening and, and been out hooking or pulling as well, within a few minutes, England would be in real trouble in this test. And I thought he played, as he did in the second innings at Edgbaston, really intelligent cricket. So sometimes with, with the sports teams, we saw it after the 2015 World Cup, the coach wants the message to be really simple. Doesn't necessarily mean that's what they actually want in the long term, but they want clarity of message. So they've told them to go out and play free-flowing cricket. But it doesn't mean that there isn't a bit of room for sophistication at the right time. Have I just rambled on? I, I kind of felt that's what I meant to say. Okay. Tom Maslona says, mm. is Stokes' injury hindering England now? Can you see him retiring at the end of the series? I think he means if England lose heavily. Oh, oh, oh yes, of course, it's a massive hindrance. It's a hindrance to him and it's a hindrance to England. So there's no way around it. It, it. It's a humdinger of a problem. And could he retire? Yeah, absolutely he could. I really hope he doesn't. I think he's a fantastic cricketer who could be uh, very successful as a specialist batter. He's obviously a charismatic leader. Um, and, you know, let's remember all the ways that he injured himself in doing incredible things for England. There's a huge amount of credit in the bank with Ben Stokes. Mm. Sean Gardner asks, is England's selection becoming a closed shop? What's the point of having Lions teams if you keep picking your mates? Well, Ben Duckett's only been in the side a few months, hasn't he? And uh, there'll be a few others, I mean... Moe uh, Alley, I guess, he means, doesn't he? I don't know what he means. I think he means uh, Moe Alley. Well, I don't know, you're reading a lot into the question. Well, the, well, what is there, some sort of cadence well, they, in they that didn't, tweet they didn't, that suggests they didn't, that... Well, no, they didn't go to a spinner from the county, like um, Dawson or Carson, and they went back to Moe, who had bowled a ball in Red Bull cricket since September 2019. And, and he bowled some beautiful sorry. balls, and if they'd had people who could catch and stump better, he would have taken five or six wickets in the game, despite the injury. I mean, it was a risk, and I don't know that it came off. But I, I'll, I'll say again, I think Moen Ali's best deliveries are better than anyone else's who is available to England. So I don't think it was a completely outrageous decision, because we know that England's spin bowling stocks are, are, are not all they might be. Um, you know, you've got to get the balance right. I mean, there's obviously some logic in your question, and I, I'm not dismissing it. I really don't mean to at all. Uh, but we don't want to go back to the stage where 29 players, I think it was, played in the 89 Ashes. You know, so you've got to get the balance between you, 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 you want them, you want it to be a meritocracy, as you say. Of course you do. But you also want them to feel free and confident and backed because we all react better to the carrot than the stick. I don't think it'll be a rebel tour to South Africa this summer, right? Um, anyway, the final question no, is... No, there won't be. I mean, there's not a lot of money in the United States South Africa. Well, maybe. Um, final question from Yaya. Will England pick Liam Dawson later in the series? I don't think so. But, you know, it, I mean, just on the basis that I think Moen will probably be available to play the next game, Rian Ahmed has been called into the squad, so you would suggest there's some sort of... Um, pathway that has been blocked by those two at least, but Liam Dawson's a very good cricketer and I might well have played him here. But, you know, let's be careful about what Liam Dawson is. He's a very good cricketer, but just because, what did he take, 12 in that match last week? He was obviously playing on a, an unusual wicket. Uh, let's not build him into something he isn't. He isn't Shane Warne. He, he's a very good all-round cricketer, but uh, I, don't, I think he would be the last person to say that he should be England's first choice spinner. I really do. And on that note, we'll see you tomorrow.